So established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code BCG, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash VCG to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Hey guys. hey guys welcome back <laughs> that was really synced i know that, can we do I it again i saw your mouth start moving so i was like <laughs> okay can you, can you do? Hey, hey uh hey, hey guys, guys. <laughs> that was good yeah welcome back to another episode of violating community guidelines featuring Brady bros kids hair shower mm-hmm. well guys today it's here finally I say that every episode. Yes. Long awaited. Yes. <laughs> every episode is long awaited. There are so many topics to talk about when we talk about internet history, mm -hmm. but I feel like this one is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. If and for so many reasons, for how it's blown up, the effect it's had on meme history, mm -hmm. the effect it's had on community building online. And without further ado, it is Minecraft. Minecraft. Separately, sidebar. You ever seen the movie Girl Interrupted? I haven't, but I know yeah. about it. So back, back in like the 60s, 70s, when you're getting like drafted to Vietnam, they do like a raffle for birthdays. So they announce like different birthdays. Like if you were born November 1st, this day, you've just been drafted. So like when you say like, you know, everyone's waiting for this, I imagine like, you know, we said Minecraft and everyone who does Minecraft is like, oh, it's our time, <sighs> yes. you know? Get to serve my country. <laughs> so the Minecrafters. <laughs> miners. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, Got to go into the cave. Mm -hmm. so it used to be called Cave Game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a pretty big disclaimer with Minecraft. Um, yeah. We want to be respectful, but also we'd like to say this is a massive fucking topic. Yes. And we will cover a lot, like as much as our research assistant thought was, and he's a huge Minecraft head. Stanley is a miner. Yeah, he is a miner. He is a miner. <laughs> Junior year. Woo, go dogs. <laughs> but, um, no, so he is in Minecraft, and this is what he highlighted as his favorite, like his highlights reel, but there is still a lot more to be said about Minecraft. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you start to freak out in the comments, try to channel that energy into... Miners. Yeah. The the <laughs> impact it's had on the internet. Yes. yes <laughs> <That's> a reason. <laughs> uh, the impact it's had on the internet is literally like still being processed. Yeah. You know, it's an ongoing thing. So if we left out your favorite YouTuber, if we left out your favorite... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have to say. Okay? Fucking grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish YouTube comments you could leave a voice note. <laughs> That would be so fun if you just went through like the comments. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Wow, Brittany, you've changed." Dude, wait, that would actually be so fucking funny if like different social media platforms allowed a comment that's a voice memo. <laughs> you've just started something that is. It's gonna happen, dude. You just um, you do like wet smacking. Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say it's just sex sounds. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> fun though. <laughs> Yeah. To like go down the YouTube comments of like an Instagram model, yep. just disgusting, just absolutely vile. <laughs> yes, ours would be like <laughs> just crying, just like a little violin. Crying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bruh, bruh, just so bruh. Dry heave weeping. <laughs> <laughs> the soft pitter patter of Legos being yes. built. <laughs> Minecraft, initially titled Cave Game, is an indie Java video game created by Marcus Person, aka Notch. It is a sandbox mining slash building game in which the player gathers various resources and combines them in different ways to create new objects and building structures. It has developed a significant following online with popular player-run servers, YouTube videos, and image der derivatives. The full version of the game was released during Minecon in 2011. I think that what we need to understand about Minecraft, first and foremost, is that it is a place where creativity flourishes. Mm -hmm. People build... It's it surpassed just being a video game. This is a platform. Yeah. There are servers. It's 
should be treated as, you know, a sort of social media platform. Mm -hmm. Just the possibilities are endless. What people have managed to accomplish and create on Minecraft is, again, to be studied. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get that just said. And then on top of that, there I, we kind of went down a rabbit hole with all this. And I saw... I've always known Minecraft YouTubers are like a big thing. Like uh -huh. Minecraft YouTubers have a huge following. And I was like, you're all just watching someone else play a video game. Yeah. I get it now, dude. Yeah. There are some people that are so ridiculously good at Minecraft. They are building full on worlds in yeah. this music in this music video. Yeah. In this video game. And it's beautiful to watch. So mm -hmm. I get it. There's a sense of community. I think that the classic nature of the game where it's very pixelated yeah. is kind of nostalgic and it's a break from mm -hmm. the hyper realistic, you know, like Call of Duty or whatever. Yeah, and it's just nice see. to see like your body type represented in it like, is. A, a video game. Just stiff and blocky. Yes. <laughs> Absolute low <laughs> quality shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> low quality, a little blurry. It really captures my pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, I like, I imagine, like, I love watching people, like, do Sims. Like, yeah. literally anything with Sims. So, like, I this is, like, if you, I can understand why anyone would like Minecraft. Yeah. Like, the fact that, like, you know, you s talked about your sister, like, made two girls to have sex and then they gave their baby to the devil. Yeah. Like, I'm like, how did the fucking internet, like, the whatever even think of that? Yeah. You know, because that's not your sister, like, you know, scripting that out. Yeah. That's just, like, what naturally progressed in the game. So, I imagine with Minecraft, like, how the like the way it can go is like really fucking interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually have a funny clip from my dad. I was talking to him recently about <laughs> Minecraft because there was this period. I don't know if it was during the pandemic or what, but he got addicted to Minecraft. Yeah. And we used to play video games like me and my siblings and all that, but it was rare that my dad would sit down and play with us. He sat down and built an entire world in Minecraft, and I want you to listen to it. So here it is. Didn't everybody have their own houses? Yeah, Jed, Jed had, uh, he built a, uh, a house out in the water, and uh, then he found an abandoned mansion, and he put a, a railway from his, you know, the, the coastline <laughs> where his, uh, water house was all the way over to the mansion <laughs> did you make um, them do all that with you was it forced well, building way, time no well, so what would happen was jet would come to me and he'd be like dad you know you want to play minecraft and so he wanted to go and do his own thing and then i'd be doing my own thing and then he'd get tired of it because i i would take a project on and he was like you know jumping from different worlds and uh you know trying to actually progress through the game because there is actually an objective to the game um <laughs> to become and, god yeah essentially to can have all all powerful uh Anyway, wait, that reminds me of my dad. Through. Um, he didn't do Minecraft, but he played flight simulators. Yeah, when we yeah. were kids, he'd make us get behind us in our computer chairs and sit as if we were in an airplane. That's really fun. <laughs> no, that, that, one of the sweet things that my dad did. One of the sweet things, but yeah. We're going down. <laughs> Put your tray tables up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's really fun. It was like a cart with drinks. But... <laughs> It's your first taste of serving, <laughs> yes. handing out peanuts to your siblings. <laughs> Jake and Hannah got business class, and I'm in the back near the bathroom. <laughs> What's that smell? It's one of those fart perfu like perfumes, just to make it realistic. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that is that's my dad's story. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about actually what the game is. You should know it. Yeah. There's a few different. Well, there's survival mode. There's creative mode. Whatever. Like the actual game is to survive yeah um to create your world and survive in it there are obstacles that try to kill you and then you respawn and then all that but mm -hmm. the true beauty comes from creative mode where you just there are no bounds it's mm -hmm. limitless what you can achieve i mean i'm talking full-on recreations of like the taj mahal taj mahal yeah the pyramids the just like incredibly mm -hmm. well done they did a full recreation of um what's that thing from star trek um the uh, uh, that thing magic school bus yes <laughs> that <laughs> no, thing um, the space station from star trek oh the big saucer yeah 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 that, they they did a full uh 
to scale recreation of that, the Millennium Falcon. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, and you can go into all these different servers. It's so fun. I'm going to start playing it with Stanley. We're going to have uh, Minecraft Thursdays. Are you going to do like where you guys try to kill each other? You just build something together? I would like to domesticate the pigs and chickens. Yeah. And I heard that you can put a saddle on the pig's back and ride it around. And yeah. And I think that's silly. That's the entirety of what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> just going around hog riding. Yes. Cranking my hog. Yes. You can also give a bone to the wolves and they become pets and they follow you around. Oh, that's so sweet. Like it's, real I, life. I wanted, Yeah, like real life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's realistic. Yeah, you're the Humane Society. Yep. You adopt all the wolves. I'm banned from the Humane Society. Yes. <laughs> um, I would like to do that. I would like to build a little vineyard mm-hmm. um, and have domesticated wolves. Yeah. A simple life. Yeah. Have you played Minecraft before? I've never played Minecraft before. I feel like this is one of those things where I truly don't have enough space on my computer. <laughs> Or space in my brain. And like, already, you try to pull up that calculator and it just <laughs> it crashes. Shits out. Yeah. No, but dude, like, I feel like um, you have to have so I ADHD. Like, I couldn't finish anything. You mm. know, like I would start building. Like, well, that's not true because you do puzzles, you do Legos. But that's like a finite thing. Like, if I'm given like an infinite world that I could like, I there's too many options sure. where I just start to like crap my pants and cry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? like at least with the Lego set, I'm building. Uh, the set, which also, by the way, we have a neighbor to our left. Um, her, she's a soap opera star, and her uh, nephew designs Lego sets. How fucking cool! She showed me this like full video of like where he collapsed all the pieces and like the different like layers in it. I was like, holy shit! And then they also have like this like massive like Lego collection. What a collection. fun job! I know it was crazy. I was, was... You guys could do like an anatomically correct penis. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be the next one? She's like, how about a fax machine? <laughs> okay, but what about your penis? You put your penis on a fax machine, <laughs> and then you copy it. And, and then do you photocopy it, and then there's also a vagina. Yes. A vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and then a like, no magnet to put it on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and then there can be a sound effect. Hey guys, let me tell you about the actual coolest thing ever. So established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners were referred to as lairds, I don't think I said that right, or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edliston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. A whole crest. I think my family has a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card and plane tickets and dating profiles, etc. Seriously! It also helps with reforestation. It makes a great last minute gift and it also helps with reforestation. (laughs) I'm definitely getting some certificates for my friends because I think this is the coolest gift ever. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our little VCG kingdom together and we can be neighbors, oh my God. Like I said, it makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code VCG, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash VCG to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Um, so Stanley told us not to explain how you play the game, so we're just going to go into that's like... that's humiliating, Yeah, it is. It's so embarrassing. If you guys want to learn about Minecraft, you picked the wrong podcast <laughs> yes. to listen to. We are going to talk about like multiplayer worlds and like servers, though. So a uh, multiplayer is a server-based version of Minecraft that, that enables multiplayers to interact with each other on a single world, allowing them to work together to mine ores, build structures, and fight mobs or each other. Or to simply play together. Mm. I can imagine you in like a multiplayer like server, like everyone's like fighting mobs and you're just, you know, riding pigs around. Yeah. I've got a whole army of pixelated animals following me. You have survived only for the only due to the fact that you're like doing your own thing on pigs. Yeah. Yes. I, I have they're my warrior pigs. <laughs> you, have you seen those TikToks of like ten velociraptors versus like a hundred yes. kangaroos? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watched one actually that was like uh twenty bears versus a hundred zombies. Yes. I was like, bears, go get the yes. bears. Yeah, they they killed the bears. Yeah, so it's you versus like the two remaining like Minecraft people and like 50 pigs. Yeah. You would never win. <laughs> yes. I, me and my pig army, my parmy, if yes. you will, are fucking crushing you, dude. Mm-hmm. I, uh, anyone watches Rick and Morty? Do you watch Rick and Morty? 
What are we even doing? <laughs> <laughs> so impossible to talk to you. Yes. Um, there's an episode of Rick and Morty where, basically, Rick creates this fairy topia land for his daughter Beth to go to, and it's this, like, portal. And so she goes into it, and it's, like, her imagination land. And yeah. it's all, you know, she can't hurt herself in there, and she has her little friends, whatever. Well, she brought her friend into it, and then she left the imagination land and left the friend in it. Yeah. And then forgot about him. And so for the rest of time, they were like, he was like a missing person when really he's in this imagination land and he had sex with all of the animals <laughs> and all the creatures. And now they're all just his little, like, little army. And I, <laughs> that is a long winded explanation of what I would do in Minecraft. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when I start impregnating all the chickens and then they're my little chicken babies. Yeah, perverse spin on boot camp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three months of hell, but for a different reason. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually would love like chickens, but um They're so cute. Mm-hmm. Like the Minecraft animals are so cute. They're so blocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you like tear their heads off? I don't know. But you when you get going at that pig with the pickaxe, mm, mm, and they go <laughs> rawr, rawr, and they start squealing. Yeah. <laughs> And that's but, what Minecraft is all about. It is. And that's, if you play it or you don't, okay? <laughs> Imagine getting like a group of 10 people to like hit pigs with pickaxes. <laughs> pig axes. You're on a list somewhere. Pig axes is yeah. good. Yeah, there's a, but you have to do that to mine for resources. Mm-hmm. Like you do it that to cows to get leather. Yeah. And then you do chickens to get like eggs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I haven't played it in so long. <laughs> yes. There's also the gameplay, which we can talk about. Multiplayer works using a server, which allows players to play online or via a local area network with other people. There are various customization options that can be set by operators. These settings depend on the type of server and can create many different multiplayer experiences. And then there's also chat, which contributes to the whole like social media network-ish um, stuff about it. Mm-hmm. Um, players can press T you know, to open the chat and talk to each other, like talk to other players. Which, I mean, can you talk to other people in Sims? I don't think so. I feel like that, if you should. You should be able to do well, that. Well, there's the chat feature of, like, talk to this person. Like, talk to your neighbor. Yeah. But it's not it's not you typing. Yeah. It's like they're speaking similar to each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which everyone here is fluent. Yes. Of course. The famous, a few famous Minecraft servers. Hypixel, Mineplex, Brawl, uh, Minera... Mine hero, mine heroes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Minheros. Yeah. <laughs> the Greek. <laughs> the Greek Minecraft nope. server. Pixelmon, Skyblock, Libercraft, and thousands more. Mm-hmm. There are famous Minecraft multiplayer games. There was Minecraft Hunger Games, mm-hmm. the survival games, which I watched so many YouTube videos on this. Yeah. What if it was a fucking world, dude? Yeah. They literally created. A Hunger Games universe Mm -hmm. and like famous YouTubers would play in it and like they would take bets and do all this. Yeah. They created like the cornucopia in the middle Mm -hmm. and the things that like pop the characters up and then they all have to fight and kill each other. Yeah. I feel like so it's like they basically recreated like Hunger Games. But I feel like even when I think about the Hunger Games, uh, my there's like. I can't play video games because I just get so overwhelmed. There's like fight, flight, or freeze. I would just freeze. Mm. So when I think about like the actual Hunger Games or if I was in like Minecraft Hunger Games, I would just kill myself immediately. Yeah. I would give up. I would go on the offensive and then be like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. (laughs) And then I'd kill myself. (laughs) (laughs) I would go in strong and then finish weak. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was actually really interesting. There can be 24 to 48 players in the game. Players start at a place called Spawn. Uh, the final objective is to try to be the last one standing. Easy. Mm-hmm. And players can, can't can break or place any blocks in the game. So you can't build. Mm-hmm. You're just killing. Yeah, you're just you're running around <laughs> in their world. I just think of like a child like show, like spinoff of Bob the Builder, Bob the Killer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just a pickaxe. <laughs> yes. Life lesson is don't kill. Yep. Um, the only way one can get loot is to find chests and open them. <laughs> Several chests appear. <laughs> <laughs> Take the beating part. <laughs> There's like a glitch in like the Minecraft world. Everyone's like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh, oh my god! Um, so several chests appear at the spawn location, but many players will um, be thinking of looting them, so they are not the safest option. Yeah, like in the actual Hunger Games, you couldn't. Don't hang around the fucking cornucopia. Yeah. 
Um, the chest contained items such as food, <laughs> weapons. <laughs> you being like rule number one. <laughs> yes. Fucking dumbass. Yes. Don't hang around the cornucopia. Um, such as food, weapons, <laughs> armor, diamond, iron, and occasionally flint or sticks. However, it's almost impossible to get an iron or diamond sword in the chest. That depends on the server. Some servers, like MCSG, never give iron and diamond swords, but other servers might allow them to be in the chest. In order to obtain iron and diamond swords and servers like MCSG, players need to craft items by right-clicking on the crafting table. Yeah, so, like, what I gathered from watching the other YouTube videos and, like, reading through this, apparently, like, it's kind of annoying when there's too many, like, um, chests or, like, too many, do you know what I mean? Like, it's too, it's not enough of a challenge? Yeah, like, it's not enough of a challenge. Mm. Where it's, like, kind of annoying if there's, like, way too many, like, there's way too much loot, you yeah. know, basically. Yeah, yeah. I can see how this would be fun, where instead of, you could go on the offense of just, like, I'm killing everybody I see. Yeah. Or you could be strategic and team up. With randos mm -hmm. and be like, listen, let's go after him. And there's yeah. like only 24 something people. That'd be really fun. Stanley left us a little note because Stanley is a major minor. Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> he's 14. <laughs> yes, a major minor. Yes. <laughs> but then the thing is, is like what happens similar to the actual Hunger Games is that there's two people left and you guys have to like one is to like suicide yeah. pact or yeah. like yeah and eat them fucking berries. Yeah. The <laughs> Yes. The suicide pact. Yes, but the pickaxe. God, I want to go home and watch Hunger Games. Yeah. I wish it was raining. <laughs> yes. I, I wish I was... watch Hunger Games in the rain. Yes. <laughs> so Stanley left us a note under the rise and fall of Minecraft Hunger Games and said, God, I miss it so much. It actually hurts. <laughs> Nothing will compare to the thrill of racing to the cornucopia. Best friends at my side. Teaming with strangers and fighting my way towards victory. When will I ever be happy again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, you can still play it, but the games I'm gathering are not that good because there's way too many, like, there's way too much loot and shit. Yeah. And kids. Yeah. Um, so how you play when you join the server, you may choose a kit. There's always four free kits, which will be listed in chat as your available kits. You can buy more and see kits descriptions there. Uh, once the game starts, you should find a jungle or swamp biome uh, with the desert biome uh, being a secondary option. You can make soup out of one coca bean in one bowl, two cacti in one mm, bowl. Coffee soup. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you made coffee. You <laughs> simply made coffee. Yeah, yeah, so one red mushroom, one brown mushroom, one bowl. Each soup restores 3.5 hearts or if you're in full health, 3 Point five hunger bars. Um, there are a lot of tactics to eat soup. There this, are a lot of tactics to eat soup. This seems really fun. I know, with your hand and with a spoon. <laughs> 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 Lap it up like a dog. <laughs> yes. Uh, are there rivers in England? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that was a, a throwback to the last episode, guys. If you guys. saw it, or if this one comes out first, throw forward. Yeah. A teaser. Um, you gotta go check that one out. <laughs> yes. There are 70 plus kids with one being added every week. Holy shit. Uh, how long are the Hunger Games? Until someone dies. A full year of Hunger Games. But remember they would like, the sponsors would speed it up. Yeah. Or they would like introduce something and, mm -hmm. I don't know. Jaguar. Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> the car. Yes. <laughs> Horrible crash test rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Imagine like playing Minecraft and getting hit with a Jaguar car <laughs> <laughs> in the jungle. <laughs> Being plowed down. Yes. So the feast is probably the most important part of the game. Mm -hmm. The feast is 10 chests and an enchantment table, which spawn on top of a circular patch of grass. You can get many items from the feast, meat, ender pearls, potions, diamond armor, diamond swords, cobwebs, TNT, flint and steel, lava, water buckets, bows, arrows. The enchantment table is also useful for enchanting your armor and tools with the levels you gained as you play. The feast is announced in the chat 15 to 22 minutes into the game. The chat tells you how much time is left until the feast starts, beginning with five minutes, and it tells you the exact coordinates. Mm. Um, we should play. Okay, yeah, let's definitely play. Um, we need like a team, though. Um, wait, how many people can be? No, do you? Can you even have a team in Hunger Games? Probably not. I think this is like you join the server and then it's just random people. But you and I could be in the server along with all the other people. I Does kill... Dopey have thumbs? <laughs> Does Dopey have thumbs? Nobody's got a bloodlust. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> he comes like over with like a headphone. <laughs> beer, beer. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> she sounds cute. <laughs> Dopey's a gamer girl. Yeah. 
There's also uh, Skyblock, which I watched the video on. It's uh, one of the most popular survival game modes. The idea is that you can create and expand your very own world infinitely with only minimal materials. Yeah, so just it's like, a cocoa bean and water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with coffee, anything is <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to me before I have my morning coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Choke and die. <laughs> Basically, it's this big floating island where you get a little, like, you get a chest and then you get a tree. And then you have to, like, make um, iron with the lava and the water. Or, like, you have to make, like, these blocks. And if it turns to obsidian, you're fucked. And you, like, can't restart the. If you fall and you die, you just have to, like, delete the game and restart it. I would just build a revolver and shoot myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so- but basically, like, it's the hardest part is, like, trying to, like, get the fucking island tree, like, island started, and then, like, once you have, like, an entire world up there, like, it kind of gets, like, monotonous? Is that the word? What's the goal? To just build a an island. Out of nothing. Yeah. They out give of you some legumes. Very minimal, <laughs> yeah. You have to build a bridge with green beans. <laughs> 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 It was uh, to give you some edamame yes. and figure it out. <laughs> it was originally created by Noob Crew, a veteran Minecraft nice. player. <laughs> he's not. He, he's okay. Yeah, he was in the military. You start on a small <laughs> island floating in the middle of the void with a few items and a single tree. And you must learn to use and preserve your materials wisely, as each one has a strategic use. Um, for example, lava buckets, and to know the basics of Minecraft in order to complete challenges and to expand. It is normal to make beginner mistakes, sometimes requiring re- many restarts. There are countless Skyblock maps that can be found over various Minecraft community websites. You can also play online by choosing a Skyblock multiplayer server. Skyblock is widely known as being the most popular map and game mode ever created on Minecraft, while being highly popular Gee. yeah, for almost a decade, with gameplay and tutorials from just every YouTuber, including Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Captain Sparkles, and others. Um... Yeah, I mean, I I don't know what multiplayer mode entails. Do you see another island in the distance, and your friends just like jumping up and down, like, "Hey!" You shoot cannonballs at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would. I don't know. It doesn't sound that fun. This one, I would want to do something else. Yeah. I would want to do. I just want to do creative mode, where you can just you hear the peaceful music. Yeah. And you just have your little animal. Well, I mean, you it, once you like manage to build your island in the sky, like you can raise um, animals there. That is true. Mm-hmm. You can have your pigs and they just fall off the side. No, <laughs> Porky, Wilbur, I only have four hundred left. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our last. Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> Wilson, <laughs> you're raising pigs and volleyballs. <laughs> Bloody handprints on all my pigs. Welcome to my island. Well, Sky Wars is a multiplayer mini game where each player starts off on separate islands that's floating in the void and tries to battle each other, like in player versus player. The main goal is to be the last person or team alive to win. In the bedrock server, The Hive, the islands are destroyed one by one, killing any players still on them. Often there is a middle, larger island that has better loot, an enchantment table, and sometimes several anvils. (laughs) Although insane and other modes can... Although insane and other modes can occur and benefit the overall chest items, including your own chest, the center island... Forgot what we were talking about. The center island chests have the most powerful items relative to whatever mode the game com- occurs in. So everyone has their own island, and then the islands slowly get destroyed, so you have to like make your way... Well, then you die when your island gets destroyed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. I know. There's so many. Bed Wars, The Walls, Factions, Prison PvP... Spleef. I've done that before. (laughs) (laughs) Parkour. TNT run. Spleg. (laughs) Done that too. (laughs) UHC, Bounty Hunter, Death Run, Build Battle, The Blocking Dead. That's funny. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I (laughs) just Um, Which one should we... Bed Wars. Let's talk about... uh, Let's talk about the 2B2T. I feel like the factions is like what he touches on later though too. So should we explain those? Sure. So there's um we're listing a bunch of there's a bunch of different types of like servers, but faction is a server with um a server with a factions plugin install is quite different to play than almost any other server. In faction servers, players team up to dominate the map. Uh, this can lead to some epic fights as well as much fun. However, players that are new or simply uninformed can be quite befuddled by the different play style as it adds several new m- mechanics. Yeah, so this one is where like, you know, like um 
not League of Legends, or like where you like divide and conquer. Like you're supposed to conquer land as opposed to kill everyone or like build something. Mm, you're Webkins. supposed to, yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, however, players that are new or simple, oh, yeah, whatever. Often people with end game gear dominate the spawn point. All blocks within a 10,000 block radius of spawn are uninhabited, and most of the resources within a 20,000 block radius are stripped bare. So this is like actual like trenches sort of thing. Um, with the right knowledge and a little bit of luck, though, it is possible to lead your faction to rule the map. You and all your pigs. Me and all my pigs absolutely having, first of all, anarchy. Mm -hmm. And then I am the sole monarch. Yeah. I just imagine, like, a Game of Thrones, like, type map, except, like, there's one part that's just you and your pigs. <laughs> and then it slowly, like, gains ground. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The pigs are on the move. <laughs> <laughs> um, a significant portion of this guide also applies to anarchy servers, although in that case be aware that they will have far more hostile environments and players on top of the widespread use of hacked clients, non-existing claiming system. If someone wants your land, they'll just take it from you or grief it into oblivion and near total lack of rules. Now, grief means you steal their resources. Yeah. And that's a no-no. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a server where that's like, okay, fine, do it. But I feel like if you're killing people, why not steal from them as well? Period. Yeah. Can we get a quote on that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So a Minecraft client, often known as a hacked client, cheat client, or utility mod, is a modification to the game which offers modules, also known as cheats or hacks. These features are not in the vanilla form or default form of Minecraft. No clients are affiliated with Mojang, which is the company that owns Minecraft, similar to most mods. Mm -hmm. um, two builders, two tools or 2B2T for short, is a Minecraft anarchy server with virtually no rules, no staff, and no chat filters, with the exception of game-breaking anti-cheat for things like flight and super speed. The server is the second oldest running server in Minecraft, and the current map has been active since December 2010 without a single reset. That's crazy. Yeah. The server is hosted in Stockholm, Sweden, before moving to New York. The server has gained over 205,000 players and is infamous for its community, which I'm assuming is toxic and awful. I know. But I just imagine, like, um, it has no reset. I just, like, if, if it's one singular computer where you just go, like, oh, it's slow. And then you restart it and everyone's like, <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. 12 years. Yes. <laughs> Gone. The server started around December of 2010. It was advertised by the original creators on places like 4chan and Face Punch always. Mm -hmm. Early days on the server were known as the Face Punch era. The server started to gain a great amount of players as it started to be constantly spammed in 4chan boards. And the influence of those players led to the popularization of terms like new F-slur and old F-slur, mm -hmm. as well as the creation of swastikas in the server uh. this just seems like a place of love and joy yes. <laughs> this is i mean of all places to spread hate i feel like we find this a lot it's in the most obscure what like a, f a facebook page for furries there's yeah. alt right people in there there's alt right people in a the fucked up minecraft server <laughs> minecraft. do you people have nothing better to do that is actually crazy like it's like reminds me of like harry potter like how she managed to mine like write in like racism it's like this is <laughs> minecraft <laughs> where it's like why is there racism here <laughs> you guys are all the same color we're all pixels yeah we're all just pixels in the game of Minecraft. We all can be killed with an axe to the chest. We all can be chased down by a hog army yes. and eaten, <laughs> feasted upon. That would be my my attack. Because mm -hmm. if we're in one of these battle royales, yeah, <laughs> I'm taking all my pigs and I'm eating you. I'm just imagining like boars, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. warthogs. They have tusks. <laughs> yes. This isn't your run of the mill oink oink. This is yes. like scary fucking hairy boars. Yeah. Yeah. This is a swee. <laughs> You know, <laughs> sweet, sweet. I do hog calls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those scary Appalachian women. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in August of 2013, 2B2T was featured in an IGN video calling the server one of the six most amazing things in Minecraft. On June 1st, 2016, the server went into chaos after YouTuber The Campaign Rusher made a video about 2B2T gaining over 3 million views in four years. Um, so basically, a bunch of his, like, followers, like, went to, like, the server and, like, crashed it for, like, a little bit because there was, like, you put, like, a spotlight on it, you know, and now there's all these people. And so, mm -hmm. like, it just became a whole thing. It was old versus new, and there was way too many new. Mm -hmm. And then everyone, it seemed like, in subsequent years, would started making, like, videos about it. So it just, like, became, like, this larger-than-life sort of thing. 
It is. Mm -hmm. There's also the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Um, in 2019, the catchphrase, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, became synonymous with 2B2T. Uh, 2B2T. I like the anarchy aspect of it. I kind of want to know in regular Minecraft, what can you not do? I mean, besides like cheat codes, obviously, and like mod, like whatever those things are. But like, what is like a no no? Well, I guess like you know, calling like, people like, like a stupid shithead. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> in Minecraft, <laughs> calling someone a stupid shit. But I imagine it's like Club Penguin where it's like your count yeah, rose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you can't say that word. Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> yes. Um that is a great question. I don't know. Mm. I've never played Minecraft on the computer. I've always played it like on a PlayStation yeah. with a controller in my hand. <laughs> I did it with a pencil and a piece of paper. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's also Pop Bob. He's an <laughs> infamous griefer and longtime youth on 2B2T that has become the subject of various shit posts and memes, both within and outside the 2B2T community. Um, his most recognized Minecraft skin is a troll face wearing a suit. Is that? I mean, I want to look at what a Pop Bob looks like. I like his name a lot, Pop Bob. It smells like SpongeBob, but Minecraft. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a little bit creepy, but his I. His face is just super pixelated, much like everything else in Minecraft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see the girl when they introduced a girl in Minecraft way back when? Hey, when it was still in alpha or beta or whatever the fuck it was. Girl Minecraft. Girl Minecraft. She was slay. It's going straight in the spank bank. <laughs> oh, they're all like kind of like kitty people. Oh, wait. I think I'm looking up different stuff. Girl Minecraft skin. Mm -hmm. She just has a like a side ponytail. And neon Zoella hair. That's <laughs> so cute, though. <laughs> She's like a single pixel that's like a red lip. <laughs> <laughs> and big pendulous breasts. They're the only thing that's Two in... brown nipples. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only thing in 4K. Everything else is pixelated. <laughs> it's the red pixel, but on the butt. <laughs> yes. uh -oh. Swollen and flamed butt <laughs> Is there healthcare in the Minecraft universe? <laughs> I think they're mainly in the jungle, the desert, or like. I mean, I assume if you rebuild like Versailles, you could probably come up with like healthcare as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if you need like a salve or a balm? <laughs> <laughs> this is not like an urgent care. You go to the tree sap and then you combine it with the water. That's true. And you get the tree sap in the coffee bean and you put and it in mushroom, your, yes. your bubble <laughs> and then you. <laughs> <laughs> Your chickens, they're running around. All right, we have got to talk about Minecraft YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we, as to the best of our abilities, yes. have explained the game. <laughs> and we are sorry. Stanley, I would like to look you in the eyes and apologize. <laughs> Just butchering the game. But we are going to talk about Minecraft YouTubers. And Lord, where do we start? Mm -hmm. We discovered that there is so much drama. Yeah. And I know that a lot of people, um, when we talked about... I can't remember what episode it was, but we talked about, oh, viral games. Yeah. We mentioned Dream SMP and yeah. all them, and the audience, the fans found that, mm -hmm. and that was cool, I guess, because that was kind of a merging of our yeah. audience and the Minecraft audience. And I will admit, I watched some of these videos, and I was slack-jawed in front of the mm -hmm. computer screen, just... No, dude, I like to watch people play now that fr from that video. Like, I like to watch people play video games while I like, clean. Because too, and I, I always shit on people that used to do that. I'm like, why don't you just play it? And now I'm like, because they're so much better than me. Yeah, it's like a better, like, body doubling. Where, like, if I've just, like, I've just put it on and I'm just, like, doing shit. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm going to go watch someone build, like, the Coliseum yeah. in Minecraft later tonight. <laughs> well, anyway. 2011 was the rise of the Minecraft YouTuber. Would mm -hmm. you like to tell them about it? Yes. Yeah, so Minecraft began. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I shit a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that was like <laughs> your spine straightened out a little bit. You can press my back. <laughs> began picking up in public interest of the game itself. And on YouTube, majority of Minecraft YouTubers were making survival Let's Play videos. The year that laid the foundation of Minecraft YouTubers, 2011. So you have Sky Does Minecraft, um, Adam Dahlberg. Um, better known online as Sky Does Everything or Net Nobody, formerly Sky Does Minecraft, is an American YouTuber, video game commenter, and former former animator who gained prominence from the precursory Minecraft appeal, referring the Minecraft gold ingot item as butter and hating squids in the game. They also sang the song New World and as a Minecraft parody of at Minecon 2013. 
and he has some allegations yeah so um we're not saying yeah he's just that everyone he's an abuser yeah everyone here has allegations pretty much and like, in this chunk of time yeah and like what the fuck yeah but i feel like that's also very common for like a lot of like youtubers in this time yeah there what was, is it about minecraft and youtube that make you just want to beat on some women i just isolation maybe um probably there's also Syndicate Project, uh, Tom Castle, better known as Syndicate, is a YouTuber and Twitch streamer best known for his multiple Call of Duty series and Minecraft Let's Plays, the most popular of which being the Minecraft Project or, um, and My Night, uh, where he played with other large YouTubers such as Captain Sparkles, Jericho, and oh my god, it's Firefox. He was also accused of some misconduct. And then we've got Toby Games. <laughs> this is the one I was talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Toby Joseph Turner also known by his stage name, Tobuscus, mm. is an American internet personality and actor. Originally from Niceville, Florida, he is best known for his YouTube videos. As of November 5th, 2021, Turner has a total of 14 million subscribers yeah. and over 3.8 billion video views on his YouTube channels. He is accused of assault on his partner and he continues to upload transphobic, alt-right, chronically online takes on his YouTube channel. And this... I saw this on Twitter and TikTok that went viral. And some of my friends were talking about it too. He like did a video with Kyle Rittenhouse. Mm -hmm. Like what is it about? How do they get so far gone? Yeah. Like how do you just lose touch with reality? And it's so fucking weird too to go from online video game play mm -hmm. to in this YouTube video that he uploaded, a, I guess it was a few days ago, weeks ago. He's talking about like, Black Lives Matter, and all. he's sitting in his car talking about it. It's like, what are we doing? Yeah. So it's so fucking weird. And then there's Yogg's Cast, uh, probably one of the most famous Minecraft YouTubers of the time. One of the first channels to add mods into Minecraft and do Let's Plays of custom maps. Mm -hmm. And there's an entire Wikipedia of their channel. I mean, they're. I watched a couple of Minecraft videos where they're quoted, like as. You know, like documentary style yeah. of, of the beginning of Minecraft and what made it so successful. Yogg's cast is a big part of that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got 2012, the pre-hype year. Minecraft's first explosion of content finally took off and entered the gaming mainstream. This is, I remember, mm -hmm. I started to see like Minecraft backpacks and yeah. Minecraft, like the swords and all that. And I was like, ugh. I think Boys. It, yeah, it's the first time I saw that hoodie that zips up all the way to the <laughs> head. It's like a Minecraft guy. Yeah. <laughs> you push that guy down the stairs. Yeah. No. That's he, how you knew who to bully in high school. Mm -hmm. you, you fucking pixelated hoodie. <laughs> You're happy? Oh, <laughs> kick him. <laughs> kick that guy. Get him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I just actually have a vendetta against like weird jackets. Like ones that zip up, ones that have like little ears. I used to have. <sighs> what? You're going to hate me. I used to have an Iron Man zip up hoodie. Yeah. That zipped up all the way. But it was like see through right on the eyes and it looked like the Iron Man mask. And every it had the whole and I was a woman and I did have big tits in high school. Yes. <laughs> so it like Iron Man with just big old yoinkers. Yes. You drive with that on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's scratches all along yes. the You're good. Yes. You're good. I yeah. know that like um our art teacher got like into a really bad wreck when it was like spirit week and it was like silly goofy whatever day. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was like pulled out of the car with like striped like uh, socks and like a really frilly like skirt. Oh. <laughs> Just the most embarrassing to crash in. Yeah. Oh, dude, there was like uh, whenever um, Halloween rolls around, is like people always like post like videos of them getting into car crashes when they're wearing their costume. <laughs> what or, like the something fuck like side <laughs> of the internet are you on? <laughs> or like, oh my god, um, I posted this like Halloween like sketch the other day where like our grandma died and whatever and so then um in the comments someone was like this is actually crazy because my grandma died on halloween in a dinosaur outfit and i was like <sighs> this is about you <laughs> <laughs> you made it about yourself i was like oh my god like just imagine like dying in like a very unusual like dress you know what i mean yeah i feel like that'd be kind of embarrassing i would uh, lighten the situation though. <laughs> yes. Like the family comes to collect the personal belongings and it's just like an inflatable dinosaur uniform. I've been struck by a car at a gas station and no pants on, just poo bearing. <laughs> <laughs> she was found with just a red crop top and a bottle of honey. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the coroner like takes the sheet off my entire body to identify me. <laughs> it's like, it's 
That's that's all of it. Yeah. Oh, don't back <laughs> <It is. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go as Fat Elvis this year for mm-hmm. Halloween, but it didn't end up working out. Did I didn't even celebrate Halloween. I was driving. You did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I drove from Austin, Texas to Los Angeles. Did you not do anything before you left? Mm-mm. Oh. It's kind of sad, but Fat Elvis, I'll do it next year. Yeah. I'm going to start packing on the weight now. Or just make it your Thanksgiving costume. <gasps> That's smart. Yeah. Or like, what day did he die? Oh, I should know that. You should do a tutorial. I think it was December 25th. Do a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> and then he rose again. <laughs> yes. Two months later. <laughs> Fat Elvis was crucified right next to Jesus. <laughs> He died on Christ's birthday. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So the pre-hype year, um, it, this is the expansion from vanilla content. So we have Captain Sparkles. Jordan Marin, um, also known by his online alias Captain Sparkles, is an American YouTuber, Twitch streamer, gamer, and electronic musician. Uh, Marin is primarily known for playing the video game Minecraft, which is featured on his main channel, Captain Sparkles, and it channel Captain Sparkles 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um as of September 20, 2002, September of 2020, 2022, oh my god. September 11th, 2002. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is 11 YouTube channels. Oh my god, dude. How do you even manage 11 fucking YouTube channels? And how do you diversify them? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Has collectively earned over 13.7 million subscribers and 4.48 billion video views and his main channel is the 281st most subscribed channel on youtube with over 11.3 million subscribers oh my god he's i don't know what it was with this time but parody music videos was rampant oh my god i literally i can't i can't i can't fucking do that type of comedy no there's actually no other type of i i know that everyone has like comedy subjective if you have any sort of musical act in your comedy, that's I'm immediately repulsed. You know, the only exception I will say is Bo Burnham. I enjoy Bo Burnham's. I enjoy Oi, Bo, Bo Burnham by himself. No music? No. It's a big part of his act, though. I Yeah, and you just really got to get through it. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think if there's any sort of musical number, or like a theater kid who does comedy, I'm like... No. Yeah, well, it's just because it's so, it's campy, yeah. but not in a good way. Yeah. It's like campy cringe. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, when you put yourself back in the 2012 mindset, I probably would have watched these and been like, <sighs> mm-hmm. and now I'm like, Ugh. yeah. but it's because, and this is a theme that we always touch on in these episodes, is there are so many layers to how we are where we are right now in internet history. Mm -hmm. Like in order to understand this meme, you have to understand 17 other things that have happened in the last 20 years. Yeah. And I feel like this is in the middle of all that, you know, this Mm -hmm. was still kind of earnest comedy that people were trying to do. And it wasn't even like laugh out loud comedy. It's parodies. Yeah. You know, there were so many parody videos and music videos. And then when Jake Paul started doing all his shit of like, diss tracks and all that that was a completely different era and i don't Mm -hmm. think people were haha giggling at that but it was just kind of like a fuck yeah sort of thing actually yeah it is kind of interesting to think about like the progression of like comedy in music so like this parody videos jake paul and then you have like um i know that squidward's nose is like a dick i want to write like like that's like actually i know that she's like a serious musician but also like it's interesting to see like how comedy progresses in music itself yeah Mm mm-hmm or even who was I mean was Lil Dicky considered like a funny rapper? I don't know who Lil Dicky is. Oh, okay. Wait, the guy with the curly hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, uh, I think he was. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It, like it, all of these stones had to be paved for people to do what they do now. Yeah. So like this isn't funny but it's important, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <sighs> Stupid. There's also the 2013 and 2015, the golden age. Uh, Minecraft is now one of the most popular games in history. And Minecraft songs were at its peak. Uh, Minecraft trolling began rising in popularity, and modded Minecraft videos were most popular during this time. There was a huge topic within itself that would include mod showcases, mod let's plays, and challenge games. There's a rise of collaborations and ensemble casts, playing different Minecraft maps and servers with one another, like Hunger Games, Parkour, Custom Maps, Challenges, etc. And we need to talk about uh, Dan TDM. Again, guys, we don't play Minecraft, so if I'm saying it wrong, just <laughs> Everyone's like, suck it oh, up. it's Dan Tim. You know it's Dan Tim. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. 
Daniel Robert Middleton, better known online as Dantadum. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Formerly the Diamond Minecart, is a British YouTuber and gamer known for his video game commentaries. His online video channels have covered many video games, including Minecraft, Roblox, and Pokemon. His channel has been listed among the top YouTube channels in the United Kingdom. There's only got to be like four. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Wales. You got yeah. uh, England. Yeah. In July 2015, he was listed as one of the most popular YouTubers in the world by viewership. He has won several Kids' Choice Awards and set Guinness World Records for his gaming and presenting. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. In 2017, Middleton topped the Forbes list of highest paid YouTube stars, earning $16.5 million in one year for playing Minecraft. Wait, this, that's, uh, how, well, I guess, yeah, dude, that's insane. Oh my God. As of July 2022, his YouTube channel has reached over 26 million subscribers, 18 billion video views, and has posted over 3,500 videos. How many videos have you posted on YouTube? At least uh, like a hundred and something. But the thing is, is like, okay, so this, you were talking about how do they di diversify? If you play Minecraft, Minecraft, Roblox, and Pokemon, I feel like the previous guy could have like separate channels for like separate games, you know? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And then maybe there's a vlog channel and maybe mm -hmm. there's a family channel and maybe there's a yeah cooking like a channel cooking and channel, yeah shitting channel behind the scenes yeah, flossing brushing your teeth channel guinness book of world records channel <laughs> putting on bangles i wonder what the <laughs> i wonder what the world record is for most youtube channels <laughs> successful youtube channels okay yeah because oh, i could sit here and create 38 yeah. but that's not like no one's gonna <laughs> all follow your top em. commenters britney one through 38 yep Yes. I love you so much, Brittany Broski 7. <laughs> the voice memo. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, stop! <laughs> it was Team Crafted. It was a Minecraft gaming group that was founded in February of 2012 by now former member Deadlocks. That's a cool name, Deadlocks. It's like Mahogany Locks. Yeah. Too hot. Yes. <laughs> they bought a house for the entire group, but only True Moo lives there now. They've inspired hundreds of people. Several members quit, and during March of 2014, the group collapsed. T. Yeah. Um, it's like with uh, MagCon. Oh. Mm -hmm. In June of 2014, it was announced that Team Crafted was having a relaunch, however, that never, never came to pass. And then towards the end of 2015, Minecraft viewership and burnout began to settle in as players and audiences became less interested with the game. 2016, we see the downfall. Mm -hmm. The continuous fall of Minecraft's popularity meant many Minecraft YouTubers either stopped making content or switched to different games to the ever-adapting YouTube platform. And Stanley put a little comment that says, Common YouTube kissing pranks, 2016, worst year of the platform, L. <laughs> they pivot from Minecraft to making out with strangers. Literally. <laughs> yeah. The unraveling of drama, controversies, and assault within the Minecraft community also led to its downfall. A lion maker groomed and talked sexually with underage girls. Bash Reverse, popular Minecraft YouTuber at the time, was actively going insane online, making weird videos with his girlfriend, having breakdowns online for everyone to see. You don't have to document everything. Mm -hmm. Some people just do. Sky Does Minecraft has accusations against him as well. This news completely destroyed the Minecraft YouTube community as its reputation was tarnished and it was never looked at the same. Because when you start dicking around like that because I don't know if it's because you're now famous mm -hmm. because you have a following because people are paying attention to you that you, they just act out yeah I don't know what causes it that is true you have like power now you know like I that, assume yeah and you want to like wield that in some way over and you someone. don't know how and you don't know but it's also like I don't these are grown ass fucking men yeah you should know how you just don't care right so 2017 to 2018, content-wise, the videos were the same as years before, but nobody was watching. No new creators appeared. Known creators fell in viewership. And then we see F -f 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 Fortnite! <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite killed Minecraft. Mm -hmm. um, it was becoming the new game for content. Everyone was doing Let's Play Fortnites. Um, and then the Minecraft YouTubers switched over to Fortnite gameplay. Only a select few continued to make Minecraft videos and stay afloat. Uh, Dantadum, Sunday, Stampy, and popular MMOS. Mm -hmm. Minecraft was thought to be a dead game and established that it would not come back. 
but spoilers, it did. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of how, like, in every single, like, music genre, there's, like, waves. Like, I know with, like, whenever I date people who do EDM stuff, it's, like, you know, like, house or, like, techno or, like, trance or, like, dubstep. And so, like, you know, fucking, like, Skrillex was, like, huge. And then that sort of type of EDM, like, died out. And now mm. you have, like... Other things from like Europe, like um, yeah, houses back. Yeah, like all this shit like comes in waves. So like to think that I actually think to think that something will be officially over just because there's a lull. I think that p- there's gonna be like another wave of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you have an opportunity. Actually, that's how you. Oh, we were talking about like getting in on the ground floor. So like when you notice that a genre of something just died out, I would honestly start to do it. Like so then when it the second wave hits in like a couple years, you would have already established yourself. It's going to be hard to find an audience, though, if everyone's over it and you're actively starting it. No, I know. That's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, like, two to three years of just, like, almost no growth. But then, like, you, when it starts to pick back up again, you're already on, like, the forefront of it. Because mm. since we know that a lot of these things, music, video games, come back in waves. Mm. So I would just be, I would honestly get in right before the wave. But now yeah. that people are over um, YouTuber scandals... You know, like, people just don't. Yeah. That whole drama get in thing, people were so enraptured with it. Mm-hmm. And now people are like, I hate all these people. Stop giving them attention. Yeah. Start being messy online now. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Start saying some absurd things. Um, attack a community that does need to be attacked. And maybe you'll get famous. Well, I mean, we are circling back to, like, it's okay to be a hater. Because we had, like, a, a <laughs> solid, like, few years where everyone's like, hey, what you post is, like, valid and yeah. you shouldn't be toxic. And some, and now we're like, hey, guys, we're all mentally healed. It's okay to, like, hate things that are not based on your appearance. Yeah. You know, like, I can hate the way that you dyed your hair because, like, that's just how you dyed <laughs> your hair. Like, so because it, fuck you. So there's like this renaissance of like haterness. So if actually if you want to be a messy person now is the time to get it in on that. It is the time. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do this video though. Yeah. Please be nice to me. <laughs> they talk about my hair color. <laughs> you just opened up a can of worms. Yeah. There's uh, the new beginnings, 2019. 2019. Mm-hmm. Do you want to talk about yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The nostalgia of Minecraft began, and that's it too, is yeah. people are nostalgic for a time when that was popular and where they were in their lives. The nostalgia of Minecraft began as YouTubers and viewers began having burnout from Fortnite and yearning for Minecraft videos once again. Due to this nostalgia, some content creators began returning to creating Minecraft videos as a novelty of nostalgia. Wait, also this reminds me of like actual farming. You know, like how you like one year do like green beans and then you let you alternate the soil by like doing corn. And then the next year you can do green beans again because the soil is like, re- yeah, dude, this makes sense. Yeah, the internet is just one big game of Farmville. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so yeah, keep going, sorry. So we've got Call Me Carson, which... <laughs> Better known online as Call Me Carson, uh, what's his name? Carson King. Is an American YouTuber, comedian, Twitch streamer, and gamer who creates videos with his friends, typically recording themselves on Discord or in a video game such as Minecraft. Uh, They started streaming a new series on Twitch called SMP Live, where the highlights were later uploaded to YouTube. It was a community event where other Minecraft YouTubers played on a survival server together. This series proved successful and other content creators began returning to Minecraft as well. But Call Me Carson, again, what the fuck, is accused of being racist and sexting with a 17-year-old when he was 19. Mm. He's also crazy young. He was born in 1999. I know. He's like 23. We've got PewDiePie. PewDiePie started his own survival Let's Play on Minecraft, bringing in tens of millions of views. I watched a video that Stanley linked in the research of PewDiePie from literally like 12 years ago yeah. or like 10 years ago or something like that playing and he's speaking and is he Swedish? Um, something like he's that. He's speaking in his native language. Simlish, and, yeah. Simlish, yes. <laughs> <And> <laughs> he's speaking Simlish uh, with his friends and it was like a two minute video and it has like a hundred million views. Holy shit. And I was like, this was the beginning of it all. And I was going through the comments just out of curiosity and they were all very sweet. It was like, little did he know what yeah. was about to come. And I was like, that's really cool. Yeah. Even though PewDiePie's a complex individual. Mm-hmm. Minecraft Mondays, me- weekly Minecraft tournaments with YouTubers and streamers used to be a thing. And now we've got 2020 to now, which mm-hmm. is the present. A new generation. A new, yeah. So the lore of Minecraft's Fall and Rise began, uh, became content within itself, and a resurgence of its online presence skyrocketed. Minecraft's popularity solidified within its... 
with an internet history and it continues to grow today. Um, the rise of challenges, speed runs, ensemble and co collaboration, role playing. We have Technoblade, rest in peace. I did watch that very sweet video that his yeah. father yeah. read. That was so, I didn't know him personally, but that was. The that whole was, internet felt that. Yeah. Was, I mean, I'm not even in this community, but that was on Twitter and I was like, that's really. Mm. Yeah. There's something about like, I mean, the celebrities pass, it's very sad, but when like a content creator passes, it's just like a moment of silence from the internet is really nice sometimes. Yeah. Um, you have Tommy Innit, Dream, a George Not Found, Sandiction, and Mr. Beast Gaming. We've got to talk about Dream. Mm -hmm. Dream has been active online since 2014, but did not gain substantial popularity until 2019. He is well known for his YouTube series Minecraft Manhunt and was also well known for his Minecraft speedruns in which he was accused of cheating in late 2020. Mm -hmm. Dream later admitted to using game mods, but maintained that he used them unintentionally during his single player speedruns, intending for them to only apply during his multiplayer challenge videos. Dream SMP... Um, content created in the Dream SMP, which was Dream's invite-only survival multiplayer Minecraft server that stars content creators engaged in roleplay, has also attracted considerable attention and a popular fandom. That's what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. We we said something about Dream SMP, and they were like, Ooh. "Yeah, yeah." So we love you guys. Shout out to <laughs> you guys. As of September tenth, twenty twenty two, his seven seven oh YouTube channels have collectively reached over 41 million subscribers and over 3.2 billion views. And his two Twitch channels have collectively gained 7 million followers and 19 million views. YouTube awarded Dream the Streamy Award for gaming in both 2020 and 2021. Dude, to amass that many followers is absolutely insane. Like how? And also, let's point out at this time, no one knew what he looked like. Yeah. Like, he recently, if you've been on the internet at all in the last two months, Dream did a face reveal. He mm -hmm. was one of these faceless content creators that is allowed to, I guess, be a little freer online. You yeah. know, because people can project their fantasies onto you. Mm -hmm. And he did this face reveal and, bitch, it was the most, like, oh, my God, people are so mean. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's ugly at all. I think he's cute I, but people were so fucking mean yeah wait what do you just like separately what do you think is the female voice equivalent of dream like who do you think is i don't know like what is like a sexy but like dom like like great like i don't know what's a sexy voice for women that's not like baby well they're not binary but the person from house of the dragon the a negroni oh yeah 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 spagliotti i didn't I think that's a attractive voice, but I didn't understand the hype around that clip because that if you've tasted that drink, it's dog shit. Yeah, it's awful. It's just because they're hot. I know it's like the most bitter drink you could have. Yeah. So, um, but yes, they are hot. So, but yeah, I think that might be the equivalent. It's like a husky sort of, and the accent definitely helps. Mm -hmm, but I imagine the fact again, like we talk about, like how being hot like really helps. If someone, if uh, someone ugly recommended that drink. I'd be like, "This is, what are you saying? You're stupid and ugly. Pick one." I like, I like a uh, four loco <laughs> over a ice four loco. <laughs> in a red cup. <laughs> like it's like, oh god, a four loco, uh, lukewarm yeah. in a mug. <laughs> I, feel, I feel so bad for like any gay bartender who would like for like a oh. solid week. I was like, Spagli out of for a second. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I hate my job. I hate my job. Yes. I hate my job. <laughs> Um, there's also the uncensored library. Well, hold on. Are we done oh, with Dream? We, because do... I feel like... What else is there to say, really, other than the reaction was so polarizing? And I feel like people were people were trying to go viral on Twitter by having just, like, really bad takes. Just, yeah. like, being mean for no reason. But then also it begs the question, why reveal? Mm -hmm. Why reveal your face now? Did he? I don't feel like he was faltering in popularity yeah. or relevance. Like, why now? That's something you do when you fell off. Yeah, you know, it's like get your name back in the in the ring, sort of thing. So when that happened, I was like, why? Why? I don't understand why you would do the reveal. Um, because it's like a large. Since your voice is so sexy, a large chunk of your audience is there because they're projecting, they're creating their own fantasy exactly. in their brain. Exactly. Like, if you were to read fan fiction and, like, a popular fan fiction and, like, now you have this perception of the celebrity and the celebrity is just like, no, that would never happen. You'd be like, well, you don't, 
you kind of ruined it, yeah, you know? Yeah, you ruined the whole fantasy. Yeah, like if we if Harry Styles started to make a YouTube channel, it would almost ruin perception of him. I get my him. tattoo ripped off. Because you like the a lot of the legwork is like the audience and like the fans coming up with like this is who he could be. So yeah. like to be, have almost too much access to him Period. would like give you the ick. Right. So I think a lot of people it gave them the ick, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. It was also just the initial shock of like Oh. Yeah. Because you expect him to look like fucking Chris Evans. Mm Mm-hmm. And then it was, oh. Oh, yeah, you're a gamer. Yeah. Anyway, I think that people were way way too mean to him. Mm. Okay. So that we do, I want to talk about the Uncensored Library. Okay. Which is really, really fucking cool. On March 12th, 2020, Blockworks released a YouTube video introducing the new project, the Uncensored Library, spearheaded by Reporters Without Borders and built by Blockworks and DDB Berlin. The Uncensored Library is a place you can visit within Minecraft to read the works of censored journalists from Russia, Mexico, Egypt, Vietnam, and Saudi Arabia. Oh my God. And this is a whole, um, uh, y'all should Google this, look it up on YouTube. It is a fully beautifully built and designed library that looks like a museum that you can walk through, you can whatever, and there are separate rooms where you can find the actual, like, texts. Yeah. And it is a place, it's one of these things where Minecraft has become so much bigger yeah. than it ever probably was meant to. Mm-hmm. What a, it, this reminds me of, what episode was that when we talked about? Um, Anonymity. Yes, where the... Clearing the map. Yes, you where, know like, it. Yeah, you could enter, like, so we're talking, the internet is mostly dark and horri- like horrific. Yeah. But, like, the thing with, like, queering the map is, like, this map where, like, queer people all across the world can, like, uh, log anonymous experiences. So you can, like, zoom into countries where it's illegal to be gay and see these beautiful, like, just a- anonymous blurbs. Mm-hmm. And so, like, this is, yeah, like, similar to that. where it's like that vein. Yeah, like, you hear, like, a lot of shitty things happen with Minecraft, whether Minecraft be, like, scandals or, like, something like this. So to see, like, what it could be used for yeah. is, like, really cool. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Unless it's, like, fucking Minecom for something. Then it's, yeah. like, Ugh! All right, strikes again. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But um, this is a separate thing. It reminds me of like this is not a nice thing. But like um, how like using different like apps for like something that they're not intended for. Yeah. Like I realized that you can like cheat on someone if you, you don't want to text them and like get caught. You could do like a shared note and then you guys can like text back <laughs> and forth in the note. Stupid. And like you can like lock the note. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? But also that's the bad version of like using something it's not meant for. But like the uncensored library sounds really fucking cool. Yeah. And I imagine with a lot that's happening where like governments literally shut down the internet. Right. This would be incredible. It's it's building a whole um archive mm-hmm. that some people just would never have access to. I think it's really, really neat. And also just the architecture. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> I watched this video, I was like, damn. Very beautiful. Mm-hmm. We do need to talk about Minecon as well. Mm-hmm. Would you like to tell them about Minecon? Is it Mahjong or Mojang? Mo- I want to say Mojang. Because I think Mahjong is a type of board game. So at Mojang, AB announced the uh, that Minecon, a convention for all Minecraft players, uh, would be held on the 18th and 19th of November 2011 at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. The official website for event announced that they would be celebrating the official launch of the game. Oh, my God. Um, the Mirage is being torn down. Torn down. Why? Not the Mirage, but it's not torn down. It's being like um, there's no more Mirage after 2022. Why They're like that? rebranding it. I have no idea. Oh, it was like someone else bought it. Yeah, but I was Gee. just yeah. Celebrate the official launch of Minecraft with your friends from around the world and the Mojang team. Get ready for a fun weekend of everything Minecraft. The first Minecon is sure to blow away all your expectations. Set in the fantastic city of Las Vegas, we are ready to have the ultimate block party. <laughs> As it's big money. <laughs> yeah. But I wonder, like, have there been like subsequent Minecons? Yeah, I assume so. Every yeah. year, mine. 2011 uh, was the first one. Of all places, why Las Vegas? But now it's called uh, Minecraft Live. I think Minecon, the last one was what, 2019 or something? 20. Minecon 2022. Oh, yeah, you're right, Minecraft Live. Well, I mean, 2019, it was Minecon Live. So I wonder when they like transferred to Minecraft. I mean, yeah. We should throw Minecon 2023. We should. At our house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We get like a permit from the city to host millions of people in our driveway. <laughs> a hundred thousand people yes. on our block. <laughs> All of the zip up ladies with swords yes. walking around like this. <laughs> There's chickens, feral yes. hogs. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, but that's um, that's a quick, brief overview of Minecraft. Yeah, that is. We did our absolute best, guys. Mm-hmm. I think that was that was good. Yeah, it's like the meme episode of where like there's so much information that we truly had to do the abridged version. Yeah. 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 Um, there are so many YouTube videos though that like mm-hmm. sum it up so much better than we ever could. And also, if you play Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Um, let us know what your favorite server is and why you like it. Yeah, and definitely recommend, like, a Minecrafter who, like, is not fighting, but, like, building and just, like, dicking around. Because I would love to play that in the background of anything yeah, while I... Yeah, who's a non-problematic Minecraft YouTuber? Yeah, they just build things and sick pigs on yeah, <laughs> villagers. Yeah, fuck the pigs and send them off with their little pig babies. The not-problematic <laughs> Minecrafter who fucks the pigs. <laughs> yes. I'm not asking for much. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for listening, and we love y'all. And uh, give us a five star rating on podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and y'all leave us a good review, and I love y'all. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>